Hey guys! Oh my lord. If you would even know what I just went through. <laughs> Getting ready for this. First of all, do you notice anything? Um, not talking about my hair. Anything about my eyes. Anything at all. <laughs> hey Chelsea! Yes, honey, just like 10 minutes. Okay, Chelsea, uh, bring Chelsea, oh, what, honey? Hey, girl, oh my gosh, okay, I, <laughs> okay, first of all, Chelsea, do you notice anything about my eyes? One lash, you got one lash, I was in the middle of commenting whenever you invited me to join, you got one lash on, girl, work it. Okay, let me just say, I'm about to rip it off, but let me just say, <clears throat> I'm like, oh my gosh, I finally have it down, how to put these things on. Like, you're my seventh crew member that I am bringing on live with me, okay? My seventh crew member, and I finally have figured out how to apply my falsies, like, pretty easily. Like, I just slammed it on, and I look around, and there's... There's no other lash. There's one lash. And this one looks so good. And I got it on perfect. My other lash oh. is gone. I like frantically, I'm, I'm like, David, have you seen my eyelash? He's like, what are you talking about? So David's in here with a flashlight, like looking on, like in the carpet. And I'm like, I can't find my eyelash. I'm asking the kids, have you, did you guys take my eyelash? I don't know where it went. Like an eyelash literally just left my table. I have no idea. And I thought, Look how good it looks. Like, I, it's on perfect. And I'm so upset. I say, I say wear it as a badge of honor and, like, just keep going. My you know what? I think I will. What, what was that? Was that Spice Girl called Left Eye? Was that her name? Um, Left Eye? I thought she was, like, a... Wait, was that she a Spice Girl? I thought she was, like, a criminal. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look, there's this a, video there's is a, just like getting a better and better. Guys, oh there, there's a Spice Girl named Left Eye, right? Or no, no, that was not a Spice Girl. I think it was, uh, I'll have to ask David. There was, there was there's a girl the... group, and one of them was Left Eye, I swear. Somebody I'm knows pretty... what I'm talking about, right? Somebody comment. Left Eye, was there a TLC. Left Eye? <laughs> there was. So I'm going to rock it. I'm, ro I'm rocking my left, my left, um, false flash. Hey, Mom. Hey, uh, Jamie. Hey, Brittany, Brittany, was there a left eye Spice Girl? Was it uh, TLC? That was it. <laughs> TLC. It was some girl, girl's group. So that's what I'm rocking, left eye. Because my other right eyelash left our house. Obviously, I don't know if Rudy's wearing it or he ingested it. I have no clue. Well, what's funny is, like, my cat always takes off with my lashes. So I have to, yeah, like, she'll find them on the counter, and, like, I'll find them, like, on her fur. And so. Oh, my gosh. So maybe it's, like, piggybacking. We have three cats. Maybe it's piggybacking I, on top it, of the There is a feline in your house with an extra set of lashes. Like, it's <laughs> it's a real thing. Um, so, so we're just. Like, <laughs> we're going to do this right interview right. like this. Like, I'm just going to hang out like this. Profile. So. Because I thought, man, I'm getting extra glam because I'm going live with a real life beauty queen. <laughs> oh, I'm getting no. extra glam for this, and I only have one eyelash on. So, <laughs> yeah, I only I only get really pretty for like Facebook lives and stage. Otherwise, I look like a homeless person. It's sad. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Um, and then I got a new phone too, and it's in this it's in this weird case that this guy I bought I bought this case from some guy at the mall, and it's like it's inside this case and I can't figure out how to get it out. So it won't even like mount on my Reiki. Uh, if you saw my setup right now, you'd be, I don't know, scared. <laughs> so anyways, guys, I'm here and I'm excited to do this. Hey, Amy. Hi, Amy. Um, if you guys are hopping on late. Um, I'm, I'm rocking a left eye here. So just, we're just going to carry on. Um, so if you're, if you're catching us live right now, leave us a one in the comments, um, just the one. And if you are catching us on the replay, too bad they don't have an eyelash emoji, do they? Um, no, but they have the big eyes emoji. Yeah, leave us the big eyes emoji if you're catching us on the replay. <laughs> 
So um, I'm going to hop right into it. I'm super duper excited to do this. Um, I don't, I know Chelsea like from our team, right? Um, but I don't know her like really, really well. Uh, so that's why, oh my God, I, I'm like falling apart. <laughs> so that's why I'm so excited to do this. She is in Oklahoma. She is, <clears throat> let me make sure I'm saying it right, Miss Muskogee. Right. Yes. She's yes. Miss Muskogee of Oklahoma. She will be competing for Miss Oklahoma in June. That's like super exciting. Um, she's also an interior designer, which I'll be messaging you like uh, literally like crazy, probably like next week. Doing that house remodel, super fun. Yeah. Yeah. And we're we're moving into the guest house this week and it it needs help all on its own. So um, but she's added uh Lumlight by Alcone to her resume quite how long have you been with Lumlight how long has it been and August 8th okay so it's okay I was thinking when did I join I joined August I joined August 10th I think but the previous year so mm -hmm. Okay, she has not been here a year yet, um, but I kind of just want to turn this over to her and um, just kind of introduce yourself. I want you just to tell us everything about you, um, everything about you, uh, just your um, background. We know you're in Oklahoma. Kind of tell us about your pageant stuff, too, because I think it's super interesting, your interior design stuff, and then kind of how you found out about Lumlight and you joining and kind of just your journey thus far. Okay. So I am 23. I'll be 24 May 17th. So I'm kind of a young in here. I think one of the, I mean, the I, words are not happening in my mouth right now. What is going on? Um, That's me like every day of my life. <laughs> so I'm pretty young, but at the same time, I feel like I've got a lot to offer. So um, I've kind of lived a lot of life in my 24 years almost I think and so I when I graduated high school I started working at Sherwin-Williams which seems kind of silly um, but it actually ignited my love for design and my love for color and you know that in turn kind of ignited my love for makeup and how you know you get to have that creative palette and it's different every day which is super fun but so I started working for Sherwin-Williams and I worked there for two years and I got my color specialist certification. So I have like a laser eye for color. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I have a certificate and everything and took classes to, I'm an expert in color. So, so I will be messaging you later. <laughs> um, and so I, after Sharon Williams, I went to work for like granite fabricators and I wanted to kind of immerse myself in all different kinds of design features in the industry. I wanted to know what I really loved and what really, you know, gave me a passion, something I was really driven to do. And so I worked for the wholesale side. I worked for the fabrication side. I worked at Sharon Williams, which is paint and finishing. And um, where did I work after that? Oh, I worked for a little design firm called Mid Modern Design. And that was incredible. It was an, an amazing opportunity. I worked there for two years where we did, um, demo well designed demo to full completion for kitchen and bath remodels oh my gosh. um so i got to create some really incredible stuff there and they're still doing amazing things i moved back to oklahoma for um uh, Brittany. it is on my miss oklahoma resume it is i just slipped that in so um but i moved back to bixby which is like south of tulsa and moved back in with my parents just for some mental health stuff, just things that were going on with my family, with myself. And so I kind of was like, well, um, the, on this side of the state, the building remodeling industry is a lot more competitive. There's a lot more of the older generation already embedded in those industries. So it's kind of hard for me to like seep in there. And so I was like, well, what am I going to do with my time while I'm looking for – a design job, you know? Yeah. And my upline, his name is Larry Chowning. Um, he actually does my hair and makeup for Miss Oklahoma, does my headshots. And he's used limelight on me for, I guess, since like last January, February-ish. 
Mm-hmm. And he'd been using it, and he was like, you know, Chelsea, people are asking you about your makeup, like how you do your makeup and what all you use and what are your techniques. And I was like, yeah, you know, people are starting to notice that I'm good at it. And he was like, well, why are you suggesting them to go to Ulta? Yeah. Because that's where I get my makeup. I, I'm Urban Decay. Hello. And he was like, no, you really should use Limelight. And he goes, because not only do you get to show off your creative side, he goes, you can make money. Exactly. Like, what? Are you kidding? And so it really didn't take a lot of convincing. I yeah. think it was like two weeks and I was like, oh, okay, it's fine. I wasn't one of those that I was like a hard sell. I was like, oh, something new and exciting. I'm bored. And yeah. Um, so yeah, and so I did that and have done it since August. And it's been kind of an interesting journey. Selfie, I- selfie. Can you guys stop? Sorry, my kids are crazy. This should be your birth control, Chelsea. I don't, uh, trust me, I don't need birth control. I have three <laughs> nieces and a nephew. Yes, all under five. <laughs> I get it. I um everyone always says that when there's like a screaming kid and I'm like, no, I have I have so much chaos in my life. Yeah. yeah. You you already have enough little kids running around you. Yeah. And so <laughs> I um so yeah, I just started selling limelight and u- really using the product. So because I jumped in and like didn't think about it, I really hadn't gotten to use those products and and get to know them. And I'm the type of person where I'm like the worst. I want to know everything yeah. before I mention it to anybody or like recommend it because I just want to be the most informed person. And I think uh-huh. that goes with my interior design background where it's like, I'm not just going to suggest someone use an LG yeah. this or a GE yeah. that like, I need to know everything that that oven or whatever features, because if it malfunctions, then it comes on me. So exactly. I kind of had a mindset with, with our brand where I wanted to be comfortable enough using everything on me. So like I went gung ho, I bought everything that I could when I first started and I was like, all right, we're starting, I'm going to do this. And so here I am seven months later and I'm now starting to build my team because I needed, I needed that time to where I'm like, no, this is foolproof. So whenever whenever someone asks me about it, I'm like, no, I've been using this for seven months. I've had this for this long. This has worked for my mother. This worked for my grandma. This worked for all of us. We've been using it as a collective. And I think that's worked for my brand where it, it just. People I mean, trust you. I mean, we, you, I mean, hello, you're like competing from us, Oklahoma. People trust you. <laughs> and I mean, you have like personal experience. You actually wear these products. You love these mm-hmm. products. Your fan it's on your family. I mean, your friends, I'm sure. So I, I think um that says a lot, you know, when somebody, you know, comes up to you and especially like in, in that pageant world, I think that's like a no like Larry told you right. I mean it's like a no brainer. You know, people are always that's why Amy that's on here, like she's a professional makeup artist. <laughs> um and, you know, I was like, Amy, people are, are constantly, you're putting makeup on people's faces and they're like, oh my gosh, I love it. Like, where can I get this? Tell me everything. And you're, you're telling them, um, you know, go to Sephora or Ulta or, you know, online, you know, wherever it is that you got your, your makeup and mm-hmm. you can be offering your clients professional grade products and hello, be compensated for that. Absolutely. And it's not only if it isn't professional grade, but it's good for you. And that's all, yeah. that's something that I have really come to love. So last January kind of segue into, you want to know a little bit about me. So here we go. I um, do. Let me get in close here with my left. So eye. when I was 11, I had my thyroid removed because of a goiter. So um, a goiter is just when your thyroid is enlarged like a tumor. So your thyroid's supposed to be the size of a bow tie pasta and mine was the size of a grapefruit. Oh my I, gosh. No clue. No yeah. Clue about so this, about I, you. If you can see my fun little scar right there, it's faded, but it's yeah, okay. I've never even noticed that. Yeah. So that was, I guess, 12 years ago now. And I've kind of lived with that and battled that, you know, through 
teenage, adolescence, all of that. And it's been, it's been a struggle. It's not easy with new thyroid. I don't recommend it. Take care of yourselves, people. But um, so last January, as a result of losing my thyroid, I battled a, a hypocalcemic episode, which is a lack of calcium in your blood. And oh, that's like not a good thing. And it is deadly. And so my organs were shutting down. I was going oh into organ gosh. failure. So it it's kind of like a stark difference, like from then to now, because I was on my deathbed and now I have like all these medical bills. So that was another reason why I decided Limelight was a good option because no matter what, I could have two jobs and I could have that second income to help supplement all of those bills because they still come in the mail like clockwork. You've got to pay this and you've got to pay that yeah. because you're in the hospital for a week. So it was really great to have that little bit of security. Even if I only make $100 in a month, you know, even if it's only a little bit, that's something that can help alleviate all of those, you know, burdens that come every month. So Exactly. Exactly. And that's what I try to tell, you know, so many people. I'm like, guys, you know, people come here and partner, you know, with this company for so many different ways. For so many different reasons. I mean, whether you want to do this, you know, full blown and make it like your full time gig, um, you have like Katie Jenkins, who I just brought on here, uh, did it for medical reasons um, and to pay off medical bills. And she's literally doing that. Um, and that like makes my heart like, so happy that I mean, because that's a burden. That's a burden. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, people come here for just to have like a sense of community or communication just to talk to people to feel like you know you do have friends um and guys we do talk like every day like i we have a, a, a <laughs> we have a chat group um for our team and it literally like whenever somebody new joins i'll add them in there and i'm like you may want to turn off your notifications because it is literally blowing up like every single day um <laughs> <laughs> like all the time so you know you're just you're you join this team and it's just like an instant just I don't even I was gonna say sorority but I was never were you in a sorority okay I was never in a sorority <laughs> so I really don't know if that's what it's like is a sorority a good thing or a bad thing yeah I mean I, it can be a good thing depending on your experience but I okay, this is like the best sorority that you could ever think of like this is one that you, one like, you don't have to spend money get on and you don't have to be drunk to be accepted <laughs> <laughs> exactly like it's just like a group of women who just like powerhouse you and uplift you and you know you have negative people in you in your life which we all do this is a place you come and we like nip that right in the butt because that, I don't do any, any, and I even spoke with you about this too. Like we all have negative, um, it was a few months, couple months back, but we all have negative or naysayers, you know, around us, whether it's our family, friends, whatever it may be. And that's what we're here for is to like nip it right in the butt and be like, mm -mm, no, no, we're not going there and don't listen to that. That's one thing that I really wasn't prepared for because I really, before Larry introduced me to Limelight, I never thought about it, wasn't searching for a company, wasn't searching for anything to sell. In fact, direct sales is kind of at the fore, like the back of my mind. I sold Advocare so that I could get a discount, but not really anything else. Um, and so I never expected, especially since my upline's a man, I never expected like everyone to be so like uplifting and like empowering and positive like it's a really it's a really great work environment like obviously you don't go to work it's not like you go to your office and type nine to five yeah. um you just have like a bunch of girls that like don't care if you don't promote in the month or if you promote three times like they're going to cheer you on no matter what. And they, if you get one customer more in a month, they're like, heck yeah, you did. You slayed this month. Or if you got 300 more customers, like, 
you were the bomb. I saw all your lives. And, like, you get the same amount of Seriously, that's what credit it's all and about. love. Yeah. And so it was so different because I know a lot of girls in direct sales. In fact, one of my best friends is one of the top leaders and a, compet a competitor of ours. And she's fabulous. And she does all these amazing things. And I just see how different our company is from hers. And not nothing against her company. She's fabulous. And she does amazing things. But just the culture of our company, there's just a stark difference. And yeah. I just, I felt, it's like a warmth. And it's, you're not competing against one another. You're it's not. It's very collaborative. You know, um, yeah. And it's like somebody gets an idea. Just like, you know, the events that we have where we all comment on one another's things. Like yeah. that, that's a large feat to do in a large direct sales company, what we do. And we all do it with such vigor and such excitement. And it's like nobody cares that we're all trying to promote. It's because yeah. somebody else promoting doesn't mean you can't. Yep. Like we can all reach the top. We all have to support one another to get there. It's a building block thing. And I exactly. think that's really, that's indicative of life just in general, I think, about how to get to the top, you can't cut people down. Mm -hmm. Like you can't step on other people just to make your way to the top. You, you need to build one another up. Yeah. That's how strong, powerful women are made. And exactly. And I just, I am, my feminist is coming out. <laughs> I know, like, I could jump through the screen. I'm very protective. Um, like, that one time you had someone, um, I'm not going to go into detail, but you had someone kind of downing, you know, direct sales. And I, like, it ignites something inside of me, and I go, like, psycho. Like, I can't mm -hmm. help it. Thank you, Teresa. Teresa shared. Guys, this video is shareable. Um, I always get people to ask that. So, yes, this is shareable. Um, but I go, like, psycho because... Guys, I'm a real person here, okay? I, I came to Limelight by Alcone, nobody special. I had no huge network. I was not a top leader at another company. Um, I, I was with another company, but I, you know, I was there for a year, and I, I'm so grateful for being there because now I know what what is good and what is not good and what you should do and what you shouldn't do. So my year there... I wouldn't trade it for the world because I learned literally like everything. And it is so, it's so different because here I feel like, like a brand new person coming into our team, like literally that signed up last night is just as important as a senior director here. Like we are all treated entirely equal. Um, and mm -hmm. you know, just, we cheer, like if you are, you're getting your first sale. We celebrate that. Like somebody just hit the top of the company. Like, Oh my gosh, you just got your first sale. Like, because you know, everybody needs that. Like when I first came here, I was like scared to death, you know, and people celebrated me in the very beginning. And that is how you grow people. You, you spend time with people. You, all you have to do is just care. That's all you have to do. Um, what? just believe in somebody and care. Yeah. What really struck me is that not only the community of women, which just says enough about the company to begin with, but the corporate culture, like how our corporate offices celebrate us, like just yeah. the little peons, the little bitty baby beauty guides, beauty guide and trainings. Like we get our name in that email yep. at the beginning of the month, celebrating our promotions, like yep. every single person. And maybe it's because I haven't been in a direct sales company and really tried to grow in that company that I didn't notice that. Or maybe that is just something totally different. But that resonates with me. Like when they were in Aruba, okay, when they were in Aruba, they took the time out of their day to yep. like Facebook Live corporate leaders to tell us all of the beauty guides on our Monday morning coffee or whatever it was, I don't remember, to celebrate those who promoted Yep, exactly. I know. Like, I was our, just like, are you our kidding? Our CEO, you guys, like Michelle and Madison are seriously amazing. Like there is no, there's no negativity here. There's no, um, there's no bashing. There's, I mean, compliance is very strict about being positive, staying positive, up, uplifting, helping others. Um, and 
you know, I feel like a lot of direct sales company, they let everything just slide under the, the rug. A lot of direct sales companies, it's very sad to say for me to even have to say this, but it's, it's really um, a bully world. People get bullied. Every, grown women get bullied every single day. Um, and it's crazy. I, I mean, I've sat back and seen it, you know, with my own eyes and it's insane. And that is not tolerated here. That is absolutely not tolerated here. You will get your butt kicked out the door quicker than I don't even know what. Um, and I love that. I love that. Even if you are a top, top of the company here, senior director, and you're caught bullying or doing something um, wrong, you're a top producer here at Lumley Balcom, doesn't matter. You're out the door. And I absolutely love that. There's, there's nothing that's tolerated here um as far as like bullying people or, or anything like that what i like um you know I, there's sometimes when customers bully you because they don't trust what you're doing and yeah. the day i was at work and i you know i uh, woke up late so i took all my makeup to work and had my little lip library with me and i was testing it on some of the girls at work and i sell prom dresses part-time so it's super fun um, but, uh, I, I remember saying, you know, I'm part of, you know, my company's really not, you know, I call it spammy lammy, you know, we're not spammy lammy. We're not aggressive. I am not a used car salesman when it comes to makeup. You either, you either like it or you don't. And that's fine. If you yep, don't, it's not exactly. you, and, that's, and that's why there are other companies. Like I, that was our, that was kind of our mantra thing when I was in design was, that's why there are a hundred other design firms out there. We may not be your taste. We may not be your jam. And that's cool. Go find another bottle of jelly because it'll work for you. And exactly. so, and so it was just, it was really cool to like express to them. Like I'm a retailer. Like, yes, I make commissions off of what I sell because I'm advertising it. I'm putting all the legwork in. I said, but I'm not keeping inventory. I'm not tapping into your stuff. I'm not poisoning you. Everything we do is legit. And I have a storefront pretty much. Like yep. it's just online. And they were like, wait, really? That's how it works. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah. I said, if I don't want to build a team, if I never want to sign somebody up, I'm just direct selling something. Yeah. We're exactly. just not walking into a store. And they yep. were like, wait a minute. And I was like, if I want to build a team, I get bonuses and I get rewarded for that. If I don't, I'm still making money and I'm making exactly. a lot of it. And yep. they were like, wait, for real? And I'm, yeah, totally. And I was like blowing all these girls' minds today. And exactly. These, exactly. Such, like these misconceptions of what yep. they think a direct sales marketing company is. And all we are is doing exactly what a billboard is doing but by word of mouth. Exactly. We, what we do is exactly what I swear. Every time I go to the mall, I, I think anybody that ever downs, you know, direct sales or, or, or what we do uh, has no idea like what in store is about. Like literally, um, I just got my new phone. I was in Sprint. Let me just say, I have a whole new take on Sprint and I, don't like it. I'm still a customer of theirs, but oh my, like you all have no idea how much of a dog eat dog, you know, a lot of these companies that you go into a physical store, their um, mindset is crazy. Like this poor guy that was checking me out, he was, um, you know, in his twenties and he was, you know, talking to David and I, we were both there about you know, the tactics that they train them on. I mean, I'm sure he wasn't supposed to be telling us this, but he was like, you know, they tell us, you know, if you come in and you just want two phones, that's not allowed. We have to sell you like five phones and like two more lines. And it's all about, it's not about customer service. Um, it's all about getting that quota in and getting that customer right out the door. Like he was, and I was just like, you know, I knew this, but to actually hear it. And he was like, you know, I'm just, I'm questioning myself if I, if I should be in the sales field. Like he was like scared. He was like, I'm just questioning myself. Did you give him your card and be like, have you thought about makeup? I know. Oh my gosh. I'm so stupid because somebody else told me that too. They were like, you should have said, have you ever, you know, heard about Limelight? Um, but I just thought, gosh, and you know, his manager or whatever was there and he was about to leave, um, 
for a trip to Mexico that just like the top salespeople got. And he was like, I was like, oh, you're not going. He's like, no, he was like, I'm just not cutthroat enough. And I was like, you know what? Your integrity. He was so nice. And you know, do you know that his, um, manager or whatever it was, I said, you know, can you help me set up my iCloud or I don't even, I don't know anything about phones. I was like, could you help me set that up? And his manager was like, no, sorry, he, he can't help you do that. Um, it's really simple though. Like if you just go on whatever.com when you're at your house, you can do it. And I was just like, okay. And he like went to the back and that guy was like, technically, yeah. He was like, I can help you set that up. But, um, it's, it's imprinted into us that we, we don't do that because it's taking away time that we could be selling something to somebody else. I mean, and I, it, it's just, I mean, it kept going on and it, it was blowing my mind. And I thought there was no customer service whatsoever. Like they, they could care less. Like if I dropped dead right there, like as long as they, that guy, you know, had that sale or whatever it was. And this poor younger guy, he was like, I'm just questioning if I'm in the right like field. And I was like, I'd be Bless questioning this too, heart. because I, I mean, my gosh, I knew, you know, companies were brutal, but to like hear it firsthand from, Are they, do they, okay. So do they make money off commission? Like, is that yes, why it's they did. That? Yeah. Okay. Ew. And I was like, hello, you know, I'm and just like, cracked me up. Like that's what cracked me up. People could get on Facebook and be like, Oh, I just got promoted at Sprint or whatever. I'm the top sales manager. And people would be like, Oh, woo, like awesome. But somebody like with direct sales, I could be like, you know, I, I hit the top of the company and they'd be like, Ugh, direct sales company. Like, and I'm like, hello, like just go take a walk in Sprint. <laughs> like it was crazy. It was, it was crazy. And I'm not even mad about down in Sprint because I've never seen anything like it in my life. My mom's on here right now. Mom, I have a whole story about Sprint for you. Let me just say that. I didn't even mean to go off on a Sprint rant, <laughs> right? But y'all it's it's crazy how the culture is that's what this is all what I'm getting at the culture of different companies you know a lot of companies are out for blood and here it's not like that at all it's so different and it's so transparent you can see right through it if anything I think what's kept me here because it's not easy like right it's not easy putting yourself and people think oh it's direct sales you're just farting around and cleaning yeah. your nails all day this is hard work this and is it's hard like work. you know I I don't have to work 40 hours a week to like make it work but when I do work it's like hard and it's you know you're really putting yourself out there and like mm -hmm. making yourself really vulnerable and like asking those uncomfortable questions like hey would you like to try this or would you be willing to buy this or you're doing something on Facebook that like a Facebook live and maybe yeah. it's a total bomb and you look a hot mess. Maybe you but, have one freaking fake eyelash on. And I'm proud of her. <laughs> um, Left eyes rocking it here. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's like, it's, it's not physically demanding, but it's like, it's an emotional growth process. It's mentally and, and emotionally. And I, and very upfront, I tell people this company could change your life. I'm living, breathing proof. I came here with, um, I came here with nothing. I know network, no, no, literally I came here with nothing and I'm one stop from the top of the company. So you don't need to come here with a big network. You don't need to come here with mad makeup skills. Shout out to Amy McCoy. Guys, I have no clue how to do makeup like whatsoever. I've got one eyelash on, like come on. Okay, so you don't have to have, you know, all of these special skills. Um, but you know what I did have? I had heart and determination and consistency. And if you're willing to put in the work, okay, every day and just stay consistent with your business, it could be world changing. That's, it, that's a fact. And it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen in a week. It's not going to happen in a month. But if you stay consistent, it will mm -hmm. happen. Everybody's timing is different. It will happen if you just stick with it. Guys, that, there is a better way. There's a better way. Yeah, that's something that I, when I first started, because, you know, when I started and then I got my kit and then I got all the paperwork that came with the kit, reality set it and I was like, oh, this is 
This is going to be a little more work than I thought. Oh, this is an actual business. Yeah. And so it was kind of, it was just interesting because it wasn't at all what, again, because I had no idea what I was signing up for. Not that Larry didn't prepare me for it. I just was like, well, yeah, sure. I'll make money. Like, fine. And so I did it and it took me a little while to like, like, okay, okay. we got to, we got to walk. We got to do some walk in here. And you know, then it's... Oh, I actually have to work to make money. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. And so I had to walk the walk for a while before I could even do anything. So like I said earlier, I had to immerse myself in our products, read up on all everything in the resource library. I've probably seen it three times. I have entire folders on my phone of just like product imagery and ingredients. And Yeah, guys, the training here is ridiculous like you could fill up you could fill up bonders folders you could watch videos till your eyes are literally rolling in the back of your head you're not ever gonna come here and be like what what do I do like you're gonna be (laughs) the first thing my new people say is oh my gosh like there's so much training and guess what I'm still watching trainings and it's been almost two years. Like I'm still literally learning every single day and it's so much fun. Like it's, I wake up every day and I'm like, (gasps) I can't wait to like watch that live from last night, watch that training from last night, connect with this person. I can't wait to get this beauty guy going, get this promote. Like I just, and when you come here, it's like, I don't know. It's like, I'm obsessed with it. Like I'm obsessed with helping women, you know, be completely and like Chelsea like sh- I-, I want nothing more for her to be 150 percent financially independent pay whatever medical bills she wants to pay pay uh, you know go buy a house and pay cash I- this is these are things that I want these women on my team to um achieve for themselves and it's it's so doable but guess what it's gonna take work chelsea's got that bonder filled she knows about her product she's you know putting in the love work it's gonna take work but it's so doable it's so doable guys my mom said um what mom i fall asleep watching and listen oh she said i thought i thought you said you fell asleep while you were driving oh my gosh she said i fall asleep watching uh trainings and then she listens to them while she's driving and my mom somebody guys there's so many different ways to work this business too um i primarily do mine all on facebook my mom does a lot of hers in person she just really thrives on that face-to-face um chelsea how do you mainly um work your business um like 50 50 maybe i think probably 50 50 just because i do the pageants and stuff and people get to see um put everything into action and I get asked about it and then those other half of those people who are on my Facebook who are my friends who kind of inquire about that family members things of that nature I I I mean since hold on let me I want to sign in real fast since August I've sold over 5,000 in products just by myself that's crazy and um, that's by herself guys that's that's by herself that yeah well, i'm gonna that, get the i mean that's just five thousand six hundred and sixty two dollars so let's just round up to six thousand <laughs> by mean, myself i mean i told you know, I've had a couple i yeah and i've had a couple girls be like well, what if i can't sell and i'm like literally it sells itself that yeah. palmafera oil sells itself I'm like, guys, if you have skin, their life. (laughs) If you have skin, you you need one drop wonder. Like literally, if you're walking around and you have skin, then you need it. There's no other option. And I'm I'm not. I guarantee you, once you put it on your face, like I have clients, they're like, oh my gosh, I have like two drops left. Like, can I get it like in two days? (laughs) They're like, and they don't even know the name of it. I'm like, one drop wonder. They're like this oil stuff I'll put on my face every night what's it called she's like I I use it every day and I can't go without it my mom gets fever blisters a lot in the winter Mm -hmm. and like she'll feel one like coming on and start putting one drop wonder on it it never blisters like I use it on my kids all the time three this winter she has like nipped it in the bud and no fever blisters happened like she cuts herself all the time 
for I mean she just is accident prone and she just puts one drop wonder on it and it heals so fast and so we I, I put it on my face every day like twice a day um with my moisturizer uh, just because I have super dry skin and I'm trying to reverse rever I mean I already look like I'm 16 so I guess I just need to look like a newborn but um but you know it'll pay off and 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 my skin especially when you start doing it you know younger because I really honestly didn't start being consistent I mean I always liked skincare um but I just in my 20s I was just busy doing other stuff I wasn't consistent I in makeup and in makeup in high school I probably slept in my makeup every night like and didn't have a single pimple and then when I got out of the hospital a year ago I have cystic acne like horrible acne it won't go away and that was another reason I was like oh limelight's got these you know this all natural skincare and so now I've been using one drop wonder must do and skin therapist twice a day for I about about four months now that combo and my skin I mean I felt it this morning I looked at him like there are no scabs there's nothing red like it's soft and I'm like is this the payoff? Because <laughs> I am cashing in. It's awesome. That's exactly the, nothing, that's exactly what I use. One drop wonder, skin therapist, and must do every single There's day. nothing more exhilarating <laughs> than clear skin. And there's nothing more depressing than a face full of acne. I mean, I think that's probably something that'll really that'll tear down a young girl because I've never had self-esteem issues I was always mm -hmm. really lucky to just like who I was and liked how it you know it just I was comfortable and then when I had acne I've never felt that insecure ever and yeah. I I just felt like everybody looked at me everybody's mm -hmm. eyes were on me I felt gross and not that I was I mean there's nothing wrong with having a skin imbalance I mean it's part of life Mm -hmm. but yep. when you go your whole life you know not having those issues and then you just plagued with this I felt it felt like a beard of pimples yeah you know it just what do you do with that you know how do you get rid of it and then finally now I'm seeing the fruits of my labor come yeah because your skin looks gorgeous like you're like glowing like I don't even want to be half screen with you I'm gonna go over here <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh this has been like super fun i think we kind of probably ran on how long have we been on here i was planning on 20 minutes i think it's been like an hour I don't 45 know. and i oh didn't even talk Lord. about miss oklahoma oh my gosh we haven't talked about miss oklahoma <laughs> god seriously she's running for miss oklahoma i said running you know what i went back and edited my test my text like or post and it said She's running for Miss Oklahoma in June. And I thought, that sounds like she's, like, running for president. And I thought, is the correct term, like, competing? Is yeah. that what? Okay. Yeah. Because I went back and But everybody, it. no, but everybody, it's kind of like a campaign. Everybody kind of thinks of it as running for, but it's competing. It's a competition. So it's a week-long competition in June. And there is a 10-minute interview. And then there is swimsuit, onstage question, talent, and evening gown. Oh my gosh. If I had to do on stage questions, guys, I'm really good on Facebook lives, but like in front of an audience, I it, like an interview, I would crumble to the ground and die. Like they would ask me a question. I'd be like, I'm like, take off running. I, I just, there's no way. No, no, no. Abby, I live in uh, Bixby, which is South. We just spit everywhere. I live uh, like south of Tulsa, so. This is Miss Muskogee. Woo -woo. Oh, and then as uh, in the Miss America system, which is the system that I'm in, um, we have like a personal platform. <clears throat> so if you went, if you get Miss Oklahoma, you, do you go to Miss um, America? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh my gosh, I'll have to save this video forever. Forever. I did an interview with Miss America. Um, with one eyelash on. <laughs> just have like a tick from now on. Um, so we're encouraged to have a personal platform. It's actually not encouraged. It's required. We have to have one. Um, so that's basically anything to say you just felt like porcupines were not 
you know, just not covered enough in magazines, and they needed to be represented a lot better. So you are porcupine awareness, and you're going to advocate for porcupines. That could be your platform. So what's your platform? Um, my platform is called Thank You for Your Service, and it is about showing that's our veterans. That's right. Because, that's right. Okay, I'm going to let you talk, because I saw, I saw you um, at a cafe or something. Yeah. With a veteran. Talking. Yeah. I did so, see that. Yeah, so it's called Thank You for Your Service, and it's about showing gratitude towards our veterans and why that's important. And so I have a three-step, or it's more of like a three-point program that I teach kids about in schools, um, about what our veterans do, what our military does, and why that's important, why we should show them gratitude and the ways to show them gratitude. And then whenever you're not showing them gratitude, advocating for them and like letting other people know that what they're doing is important and that you stand up for them and that you support our military. And so I come from a pretty heavy military background. My grandfather was a naval engineer. My brother-in-law was a combat uh, is a combat veteran from the Marine Corps. My sister's staff sergeant in the U.S. National Guard or in the uh, Air National Guard. Sorry. So I. Wow. It's always been pretty easy for me to show gratitude towards our veterans and to be thankful and to be loving towards them because I've never known anything different. And I've yeah. seen the struggles. I've lived through the struggles. I've lived through the triumphs. But there are a lot of people who have no idea that our veterans struggle. They have no clue that the VA is screwed up. They have no clue that they're not getting the benefits that they need. I mean, it's there's millions of people in America who are just blind to the fact that our veterans are suffering. And I don't know how you could not know that because I don't know anything about, you know, the military or I come from absolutely zero background in that. And I absolutely know the veterans get screwed. So yeah. For and lack so of a better term. My, my platform used to be invisible wounds, which was, focusing on veteran suicide and how we needed to end the 22 veteran suicides a day and how our soldiers suffer from PTSD and TBI and how they're sitting in waiting rooms dying because the VA healthcare system sucks. But that tended to be a pretty Debbie Downer in interviews. So I decided I was still going to keep that, um, that essence, but mm -hmm. a little easier to take in and a little yeah. easier to teach kids about. So I think thank you for your service kind of encompasses everything that I want and then kind of allows for a movement to be made. Um, so if you guys are ever with a veteran or anything, could you just hashtag thank you for your service? Because I'm so- I will. Yes, girl. I love that. So, that. so that's something I'm doing. I actually, I guess I just debuted my platform just now because nobody else knew about it. So, um, oh I feel so honored. Yeah, we turn in our Miss Oklahoma paperwork tomorrow, so you're the... Oh, my gosh. Person. Okay, so hashtag thank you for your service. Yeah, right? that hashtag thank you for your service. And so my three bullet points are listen up, speak up, stand up. Um, our veterans are really important and a really integral part of our nation's fabric, and there are 22 million of them that deserve a lot of love, so... Wow, that's amazing. Seriously, like, That's... we're talking about porcupines, and then we go to this. <laughs> <laughs> you can advocate for porcupines or the people who sacrifice their life every day. You know, whatever. <laughs> I mean, I'd be the girl coming in before you talking about, you know, this little poor porcupine over here, and then you come in with <laughs> veterans and blow me away out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> Is there but, anything yeah. else that you wanted to um, add or talk about? I want to make sure you... Um, I mean, I think it's just important to lean on what you know and to lean on um, your support group because it's not always going to be fruitful and sometimes it's going to be hard, but that's part of it. Like you, you only succeed when you're uncomfortable. And I think it's important because I had a really frustrating February, like, jaw jutting frustration and I barely squeaked by and I think I got qualified like the last day of February and I was like you know somebody put an order in good group 
but it's like you know and if I hadn't have gotten qualified Amy would have just been like all right what's your game plan for next month let's do it I'm still so proud of you look at what you did this month yeah and when I thought about that I was like okay wow what yeah. am I freaking out for exactly what am I out for it's not and like so, the world ends, you know, tomorrow's right. March 1st and we just begin again. Yeah. And so, and I come from like a small business background. My, my dad owns his own business and in construction. And so I get it. There's the low months and there's the high months and this is a small business. I own my own business. It's just a little unconventional. And I think, and guess what? You have like built overhead. <laughs> Literally you just, I mean, that's the kicker. Guys, you, you joined for $169, Mommy, and I mean, Brantley, oh my gosh, Brantley just walked in with the dog's diaper on. Like, it's never a dog. Oh, we have two male dogs, and they're, they're, okay, Rudy's like almost two, but Charlie's still like five or maybe six months old now. I don't know, but they pee everywhere, and they wear diapers, and Brantley has on the diaper, so. <laughs> At least y'all couldn't see that. <laughs> Oh, I want you to see this cup. Hold on. It says, I love the smell of glam in the morning. I need that. And then this side says better late than ugly. <laughs> I like that side the best. <laughs> my, uh, my director last year. So when you win your local title, you get a set of directors and they kind of guide you and send you in the right way. So you're not yeah. lost. And she got this for me and I think she got it because of the late comment because I don't think I've ever been on time in my life oh my god you were on time for this video I was early actually yeah to, you were early I had to set a timer like on my iPad so that I wasn't late like because I was eating well, you dinner. won't be late for uh, Miss Oklahoma will you no they they house you oh and literally will beat down your door trust me <laughs> I overslept once and learned my lesson Oh my gosh, it, it's not like being in the military, like they come in and make sure your beds are made and... Oh, no, if they try to make sure my bed, I never make my bed. That's like not something I do. That's something, you know, they say successful people get up early and make their beds. And I'm like, excuse me? Uh. I don't think you know. <laughs> the only time my bed gets made is when I get fresh sheets on the bed. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Um, I will any say, maybe any questions you turn for 30, me? you'll start making your bed. Because that's when I started making mine, I think, when I was about uh, bed. 30. Brantley, oh my gosh, stop. You have to me up. Oh my gosh. Now he has tape, taped his things like this on his neck. All right, guys, we got it. My kids are barging in. We got, we have to end this right now before they get on camera. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, seriously, like I had so much fun um, talking to you and I learned a lot actually. Well, I learned a lot about veterans, sororities, um, you, paint, design, limelight. Seriously. Talk about my brows right now. Actually, they look perfect. I'm not standing close to the camera, so you can't compare. I'm giving all of the viewers the look. Hold on. Let me sit way far back because I didn't even do mine. Mine haven't even been plucked. You can't <laughs> see them, can you? <laughs> I just got mine done last week, so I'm still riding on the fresh brow train. Mommy, I'm late for bed. Oh, my gosh. Come here and tell everybody bye. Hold Hi. on, Johnny. I'm not just over. Hold on. Let me pick you up. He only weighs 80 pounds. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. All right. Oh, say bye. he's got a muscle. Bye. <laughs> Wave. This is electrical tape. Say bye, guys. See you bye. later. Bye. Bye. I have a beard. Yeah, you have a beard. Okay, love you. <laughs> All bye. right, guys. We are signing off. Bye. bye. Guys.